Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to be multiplying numbers that have decimals in them, like that question you see up there. So, in our lesson, we're going to do a brief overview of how to multiply numbers, and then we're going to be counting. That's pretty much it. Um, this is not a full comprehensive lesson on how to multiply numbers. Um, if you're looking for that, you, you probably should know how to multiply numbers coming in, but... Um, well, you can watch and see. If, if, you, if you find yourself lost on that step, then you may need to watch a different video. But this is kind of a prerequisite that you'll know how to multiply, and then we're adding into that that multiplying with decimals. So let's first talk about multiplying. You're going to multiply each number times each number. Um, and then we have to remember place values. So just a quick recap on how to multiply. Um, this should be a bit of a review, but if, if it's brand new, maybe this will be enough um, to, to help you understand it anyway. Let's take a look. If I have the number 213 times 14, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take the number in the ones column, this four down here, and I'm going to multiply this number times every single number on the top. So I'll start out with four times three. 4 times 3 is 12. So I write that as a 2 and then I carry the 1. Just like when you're adding and you carry numbers over, we're going to carry numbers when we multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. Then I multiply 4 times 1. Now with this one I multiplied 4 times 1 and then I, I got 4 and then I had to add that 1. Okay, That step might be a little complicated if you haven't seen multiplying before, but that's what we're doing. 4 times 1, and then we add that extra 1 that's left over there. Now we're going to multiply the 4 times the final number, which is the 2. 4 times 2 gives us 8. So now I have successfully multiplied 4 times every number in the, the top number there. I'm going to move on and multiply that 1 times each number there. But I have to remember that's not just a 1. It's a 10. Okay, because it's a 1 in the tens place. So I'm actually multiplying everything times 10. So to do that, I have to add a 0 here. And that's an important step. And we will do that step with all the multiplying that we do. If we're multiplying times a the number there, we're moving over one place value. We have to put in that, that 0. All right, now I'm going to multiply 1 times 3, 1 times 1, 1 times 2. And we've completed that step. We've multiplied 10 times um, 213 and gotten 2130. To finish it off, we have to add the two numbers that we have there, 852 plus, or 2130, and that gives me 2982. That would be my final answer. All right, so that's just a quick recap on how to multiply numbers like that. And the reason I spent so much time on it is because it's exactly the same with decimals. All right, let's take a look. When you're multiplying decimals, all you have to do is count. You say how many decimal points are there, and that's how many decimals you'll have in your final answer. And then you just multiply like normal. So let's go ahead and do a question with some, with some decimals. 6.42 times 3.2. Notice I'm going to follow exactly the same steps. I'm going to multiply this number times each digit on the top. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times, two times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. All right, now I'm going to take the second number, and I'm going to multiply it times every number in the top. However, because I'm moving over one place value, I have to add that 0 there. Same as before. So now I'm going to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. I remember to carry that 1. 3 times 6 is 18, plus that 1 gives me 19. All right, now I add up the numbers just like I did before. Boom, 4 plus 0 is 4, 8 and 6 is 14. I remember to carry that 1. 2 and 2 is 4, and 1 is 5. 1 plus 9 is 10, and 1 and 1 is 2. So that gives me 20,544. But I'm not quite done because I'm multiplying decimals now, not just multiplying normal numbers. So I count. This is what makes multiplying decimals different. This is the only step. So I'm going to count the numbers. Let me show you what I mean. I look at how many numbers are on the right of the decimal. So I look at the decimal. 1, 2, 
I look at the decimal, three. There are three numbers on the right of the decimal in my question, so there's going to be three numbers on the right of my decimal in my final answer. That's it. So it's not 20,544, it's 20.544. All right, and that is how it's done. The biggest difference you'll see is sometimes when you're multiplying, you may end up with a zero here. It's important that you count that zero when you're placing the decimal. Everything else is exactly the same with multiplying. Count the decimals, and that's how many decimals you'll have. All right, so quick recap. Multiply like normal, count the decimals. That's how we multiply with decimals. If you need a quick recap on how to do the multiplication, please watch a, a mini lesson on how to do that. But if you know how to multiply already, adding in the decimals shouldn't be too much more than what you've already done. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.